Okay, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna test my AMD Radeon 5700 XT graphics card to see how well it runs on this kind of a specification. I have AMD Ryzen 5 1400, 1400 quad core processor, 3200 megahertz, and only 8 gigs of DDDR4 RAM. This is my third PC that I have. And I figured it would be interesting to see how well it's going to run. So uh, let's see how it runs with this type of a spec and AMD Radeon 50th Anniversary Edition card. Keep in mind, I don't expect to get some kind of ridiculous, awesome, great results here, but let's see what we can get. This is Time Spy uh, that I'm using as a benchmark. It's free. You guys can go to 3D Mark and you can download this for free. All right, but let's see uh, just what kind of performance I can get here. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see just how well uh, it's going to perform. All right, it's loading right now, so let's wait. All right, here we go. This will be interesting considering I only have 8 gigs of RAM and uh, the last generation Ryzen 5 processor so uh, let's see but look they're, they're all AMD CPU AMD GPU AMD and we'll see alright let, let's check this out it's gonna take a little while till, till it loads up because it's a very uh, heavy a intensive uh, GPU demo oh one more thing for those of you who missed out on the tech versus tech uh, test demo for the Gears 5 it's gonna be available on the 26th again so on on the Friday I think it was a Friday or Thursday you'll be able to play it again over the weekend so don't miss out on it you know I'm pretty sure you guys know, but I just felt like letting you know, you know. And if you're watching this video in the future, we're talking 2019, July 26th for the Gears 5. You know, this is for the future time cap capsule reference because I don't know when you're going to be watching this video. You could be watching this video two years from now. Oh my God, this is taking too long to load up. But hey, let, let's test it. Let's let's see. <sighs> Let's see what we can get here. I don't have a good feeling about this performance. I don't think it's going to be that good. But look, I'm doing this test because I want to see what can you achieve, even with 8 gigs of RAM and Ryzen 5 last generation processor that's why I'm doing this test you know I don't expect some kind of super performance here but it'll be interesting to see what I can get oh my god this will this will take forever this will take forever and ever and ever this will take forever and ever and 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 ever who says I can't sing oh my lord oh my lord by the way I got a bunch of 3d movies coming in tomorrow uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing I'm gonna show you how to take the advantage of virtual reality 3d I got man I got 11 3d movies including uh, Russo's brothers movies Civil War Winter Soldier Infinity War uh, and I also put myself on the list for the end game. I got the Avatar, of course, Titanic, Gravity, all the good stuff. Uh, the Man of Steel 3D. I'm trying to go back to collecting 3D movies because, well, I like to own physical media. I'm a collector because I know they're going to be extinct. Oh, yeah, and Age of Extinction, Michael Bay 3D movie as well because that movie was shot with two cameras, stereoscopic two cameras. Same thing the 
that uh, James Cameron did. All right, so let's see. All right, this looks pretty good so far. This looks pretty darn good so far, man. Let me see. All right. I see a bit of a slowdown here. A bit of a slowdown. But still not bad. Not bad, I mean. Let's wait for the results. You see what you can do even with a mediocre CPU and mediocre memory RAM and with this graphics card. Looks pretty good though. But I want to see the results. Let's see the results. So far, this is probably 40, 48 frames per second, I'm probably guessing. Something like that. But we're gonna find out, we're gonna look into it. I'm sure you guys can hear the computer running, 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 running. Uh, my third, my third PC. People ask why you have three PCs. Because I, because I do. Does everything have to have a reason for it? All right, let's see the results. Let's see what we got. What we got here, it's failure. Let's see. Let's see, uh, okay, now he's doing a graphic test. Okay, that was just a demo, now it's doing a graphics test. Let's go through the whole phase uh, of, of this test and then we're gonna see the results. Now it's going to test the graphics. Let's see. All right, 54, 53, 50, 52, 53, 65, 66 frames per second. Holy shit. 60 frames per second, man. How about that? You see, you don't need to have a super high-end PC to enjoy 4K at 60. Now, granted, I did lower my settings to medium. I'm not using the ultra settings. I'm using the medium settings. But still, you don't have to spend ridiculous amount of money to enjoy 4K. And this is a 4K-capable card. This is what I've been trying to tell you. My only downside about this card is the fact that it gets heated. It gets really hot at the top. At the times, you know, not all the time, but it does, but it does get hot. All right, let's look at the test. Let's see what we got. All right, this is doing uh, okay. One more test, and then we're gonna switch to the uh, the chart because I want to see the metrics. I want to see the chart. I want to see what we got. All right. Okay, now we're getting 30, 30, 36, 30, 40, 39, 40 frames per second, 43, 40, I mean, you guys can read it, that's fine. Okay, here I'm getting a bit of a slowdown. 50, okay, now I'm getting 50, 60, 60 frames per second. I, I'm very happy with this. What I'm, what I can achieve here with just this card alone on a mediocre PC desktop that only has eight gigs of RAM and a Ryzen 5 last generation.
processor, CPU. You see, this is a testament as to why I switched to AMD. It's cheaper, good performance. Yes, it is a 4K capable card. You know, people always ask me, is this a 4K capable? Yes, it is a 4K capable card. Okay. Now it's going to test the uh, the CPU, Ryzen, to see what the Ryzen uh, 5 can do. But as you can see, you know, as you're watching this video right now, obviously you can tell that you don't have to go crazy on money spree spending to build some $3,000, $4,000 PC. You can still achieve a good enjoyable 4k experience with this graphics card my only negative that I have to say about the AMD Radeon it's it's the fact that it, it goes to, to, to 92 to 93 Celsius but I was able to fix that a little bit by setting my wattage there's this thing called the waterman where you can adjust how much of wattage do you want your graphics card to use and you can also adjust uh, uh, your fan speed but that's still a bit tricky you know it's still a bit tricky because you, you're not supposed to tamper with that you're not supposed to mess around with that but other than that I mean this is a very capable card you know it, let me see I got a valid score okay I got let me see 59 frames per second okay I gotta move myself over here a little bit hold on I gotta put myself somewhere over here so I was getting 59 to 48 frames per second which is not bad not bad at all okay as you can see right here sorry for for moving myself around it's kinda hideous I know uh, <clears throat> the reason I moved myself so you guys can see but I was getting 59 frames per second which is pretty darn good for a 4k I mean for uh, for a 4k resolution dude and look what I'm running it on AMD Ryzen 5 quad core processor which is the last gen Ryzen 5 now I'm not saying that this is a crappy crappy processor it's not inter intel pentium okay it's amd ryzen it really shows you how good the ryzen amd processors have become it also shows you how much amd has advanced in both gpu and cpu department and here i am i'm a living proof i'm using eight gigs of ram not even 16 let alone 32 and look what i can achieve and i think this also proves a testament for all of you out there who are skeptical about Radeon 5700 XT, oh, are you sure that this is a capable card? Are you sure that this card can do what it says? Yes, it can. It, you can run 4K. Okay? It can run 4K. It can run VR. And you can get some ridiculous frames per second on 1440p and 3840 by 1080 ultra wide running at 134 frames per second with 144 refresh rate monitor you can do all kinds of crazy things with this uh, graphics card you're gonna get the performance you're gonna get the 4k you're gonna get the virtual reality and yes when you're watching your 3d movies on the virtual reality VR headset you will be able to utilize a much much better processing this card will do that okay especially the 50th anniversary edition which I have over here okay and I like how they always label it 50th anniversary so you're always gonna know that you have Lisa Sue's 50th anniversary edition graphics card well there you have it guys um, like I said it's a valid score I'm happy with this performance I really didn't expect this uh, type of uh, result I was expecting something like 28 to 29 to 30 frames per second but I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I was seeing here you saw it too with me like I said I like this card 
My only downside is the... Uh, I wish that they had better cooling, you know. We'll see what the aftermarket's going to do with the liquid. Because with the liquid cooling, I think you get even more uh, performance out of this card. And with liquid cooling, you could be able to overclock it even higher, you know. And I want to see what Sapphire is going to do with the aftermarket, you know, what type of cooling they're going to have. It'll be interesting to see how this whole thing develops. But so far, I'm happy with the results. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. People have been asking me about my live streams, when I'm going to do a live stream. Guys, I don't know. I've been so busy with the AMD graphics card. I've been so busy with uh, the Gears 5 testing plus my main job and other things I have to deal with. So I just didn't have enough time to, to do the live stream. Doing a live stream takes a lot of time out of my daily life. Uh, busy schedule that I have. I don't just sit, sit at home. I do other things, believe me. Okay, so I don't have time to just sit around for three or four hours and, and do a live stream. Usually I want to do live streams on the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, because these are the best days for me to have you guys hang out with me. Uh, <clears throat> and one more thing I want to say before I end this video regarding my Witcher. Netflix Witcher video guys I have my opinions I have my points of views my points of views of course are gonna different be differ from your points of views and that's okay and I don't expect everyone to agree with me okay but don't tell me I'm wrong there are no wrong opinions they're just opinions you don't have to agree with them you're wrong and that's okay. I don't expect you to agree with it. But I don't ex also don't expect you to be shitting on my opinion either. That's the way I saw that interview. That's my opinion. Take it any which way you like. But that's my opinion and I stand by it. That's how I felt about that girl interviewing that video. And totally ignoring Henry Cavill. That's my opinion. That's how I feel. And also, my opinion on the TV show and why I feel that it's going to fail. Yes, it's adaptation on the book, based on the book. But the characters are really nothing that you're going to like. I don't like the cast. The casting really has been kind of piss poor, all right? Because we men, we want to see, we want to see these female characters more, you know. But then again, the writer who's writing that script doesn't want you, us men, to have a very sexy, big boobies, Yennefer. They don't want us to have Yennefer like that. They want us to have a skinny Yennefer, tiny little dwarf Yennefer. So it's okay if you don't agree with me. Just because I have different points of view doesn't mean I'm labeled on the right or in the center or on the left. I don't have any labels. I don't belong to any party. I don't belong to any group. I'm a free thinker. I think free. No one tells me what to think and no one sure as hell tells me what to say and how to say it. Okay? Now, this doesn't mean I'm some kind of crazy lunatic going around offending people. I don't do that. Unless somebody first offends me. But I have my opinions and my opinions are my opinions, guys. Okay? They're not there because it's pleasing to your ears. They are there because they are my opinions. All I ask of you is to understand that. I don't expect you to like my views I don't expect you to like my opinions, but don't tell me my opinions are wrong. Okay? There are no wrong opinions. They're just opinions. The problem is, my opinion doesn't fit your narrative. Okay? Doesn't fit your views. Well, too bad. I'm not here to fit your views. I'm here to tell you how I feel. And if you don't like it, dude, 
block me, you'll never see my channel again. I'm not asking you to be subscribed to me, nor am I asking you to watch my videos. If you don't like it, dude, just skip my videos. Go to somebody else. It's really that simple. I'm not here to please anyone. This is how I am. And I'm not changing myself for nobody. Nobody. Having said that, you all have a good day. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with 3D Blu-ray movies. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. I'm going to show you how to connect everything. Uh, believe me, using this device, this thing right here, man, with 3D Blu-ray movies... It's the best way to go. And by the way, this is not my first time having a, a VR headset. Guys, I have tons of VR headsets. I have 4,000 plus videos. And I'm not saying this to brag about it. This is just the way it happened to be. I didn't plan anything. I didn't plan on this channel to be growing this big. I didn't plan on this channel to turn into what it has turned into in course of six years. But it is what it is. There's no plan. I rolled the dice. And I see which way it turns. That's about it. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video was informative regarding the AMD Radeon graphics card and what you can do. And uh, other than that, you all have a good day. Be positive. Stay good. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Take care.